If you are left wing dominance, probably you are really analytical. But where is this concept coming from? And is that really true? The story goes back to 1960. Some people doing experiments. In between the brain, there is a structure called the corpus callosum. It is supposed to stick both brain together and let the left right brain communicate together. But one day they decide to cut it in half and see how the people would react. And the theory comes out when the connection is cut, something really interesting happens. They lead to a concrete conclusion is left wing is more analytical and then the right wing is more for big picture or creativity and in the real world when both sides of your brain is connected together they work in a totally different way your left wing is supposed to inhibit the right wing and then the right wing are supposed to inhibit the left wing so they keep each other in check they are not doing something they are not supposed to be in the real world you're using both sides of the brain at the same time but some things could happen if one side is being too strong or the other side the signal just become decreasing and this often can seen in people in ADHD autism brain degenerative disease like Parkinson drop a comment below let me know if you think you're left-brained or the right-brained